At Nemo, they have helped more than 34 million people learn to code. Our goal has always been to empower you to create software. And now, with our next product, we're taking it a step further. You just describe what you envision, and you get it in a matter of seconds. No coding required. But wait, aren't you, like, destroying your whole education business that way? Well, yes, but there's a reason for that. So, this is Mimo, a small company founded over 10 years ago. The main idea was to teach people how to code. We wanted to show people that they too can learn how to code and start building stuff that they care about that helps them solve problems or help others solve problems. We interact with software all the time, like literally all the time. If we're on the phone, we interact with software. If you're on a computer, we interact with software. If you're on the tram, we interact with software, basically. And having like the possibility to understand and also create software yourself is a superpower. The mission was simple, make coding more accessible. But with generative AI, creating the code yourself became less of an obstacle. I suddenly could write code that could answer my, my questions. And that's when I knew, OK, this, this is going to be the future. This thing is actually already you know, coding for people. Why aren't we taking this like to the next level. We tried it out and um, we're really blown away by the results. Okay, okay, we get it. AI can generate code, but what makes Instant special? Um, there's so much more to software development than just coding. It's thinking about the architecture, thinking about um, how you want to structure the whole thing, which technologies to use. There's a lot more to it that a lot of people who don't have a technical background do not know how to do, and frankly, don't need to know how to do. Creating software should be as easy as describing what you want. What we do is we take your idea and we transform it into a link. And that link you can share. Professional developers will still need to know how to code for the foreseeable future. But on the other hand, like about half of our learners, they want to learn to code in order to build stuff. weeks before lunch, Mimo invited some friends to get a first look at Instance. So I just type in what I want to build. Does it have a name? So, so just like, hey, see you. <laughs> Come on, let's give it a try. Build a website. Tells bedtime stories. Self-assessment tool. Yeah, just click enter, let's see what it does. It's doing something. <gasps> Coffee and blooms. Coffee and blooms. That's really nice. Wow. It's really on the point. Incredible. Put this into a dark mode. Also, oh well. Uh -huh. That was fast. Can you add a function to share the recipe? Nice. In the past, when you wanted to build software, first you needed to learn to code. <laughs> but now, we can skip that part. You can go from idea to product, from problem to solution in a matter of seconds. What excites me the most is that we don't know what's going to happen. We're, we're in the middle of a change uh, that is like as fast as nothing we've seen ever before. We get to, um, to shape the way people create software and um, we're going to see what people are going to do with it. I think that's for me the most powerful thing that we at Nemo have been doing so far, like giving everyone the confidence to start doing, start building, and start creating.